Hello, my name is Peter Amstutz. Today I want to talk about building a federated data commons using Arvados open source platform. Data commons is an emerging concept, but at its core it is about facilitating the use and reuse of data by making it accessible to researchers to use in their own experiments and analysis. In the biomedical space, data sets are often very large or have patient privacy concerns, so it's desirable to be able to analyze data directly on the data commons platform. This means a data commons platform needs to combine access to data, access to compute infrastructure, and the ability to run software on that infrastructure that supports the desired analysis. The following nine technical requirements have been proposed for data commons. I won't read them all here, but we will refer back to this list. Arvados is an open source platform for managing, processing, and sharing genomic and other large scientific and biomedical data. It is commercially supported open source with an active user and developer community. Arvados can be deployed to various cloud providers as well as on-premise HPC clusters and works at petabyte scale and can manage thousands of cores to support data analysis. Here's an example of using Arvados to support a data commons. The Personal Genome Project, or PGP, is a network of projects where participants have released their genetic data under a consent that allows for unrestricted scientific research. Different national PGPs each manage their own data, so we also want to make it easy to search and access data across different PGP datasets. Arvados consists of two major components a data management component called Keep, and a compute management component called Crunch. Data Commons Technical Requirement 1 is data identification using persistent digital IDs. Keep organizes sets of files into a collection which have a human-readable name, a database UUID, and an immutable identifier based on the data content called a portable data hash. In the PGP example, Files contributed by study participants, such as their personal sequencing results, are stored in collections. Data Commons Technical Requirement 3 is services for assigning and accessing metadata for digital objects. Arvados Collections support setting and querying user metadata, such as study ID, patient ID, type of data, and so forth. Data Commons Technical Requirement 9 is storage resources for cloud-based analysis of data. Arvados supports cloud buckets for storing huge amounts of data. Data Commons Technical Requirement 7 is workflow services for executing bioinformatics pipelines for data analysis and harmonization. Arvados supports workflows written using common workflow language. For example, we can run a workflow to calculate geographic ancestry using the genetic data submitted by PGP participants. Data Commons Technical Requirement 8 is the ability to process authorized computations from systems and return results. Workflows can be submitted at the command line, which is suitable for integration with other systems as well as an API or through the web workbench. Data Commons Technical Requirement 9 is compute resources for cloud-based analysis of data. Crunch accepts requests to run a compute job and uses the cloud provider's APIs to request a new compute instance on demand, run the job, and then shut down the compute instance when it is no longer needed. Arvados has a web interface for managing data, starting and monitoring workflows, as well as command line tools. Data Commons Technical Requirement 2 is data and data model exposed through an API. Arvados can be accessed programmatically through an API. Arvados offers software development kits for several different languages, currently Python, Go, R, Ruby, and Java. In addition, software can access files in Keep through WebDAB and S3 compatible APIs. Because biomedical data is subject to privacy regulation, Data Commons Technical Requirement 5, security and compliance services to support controlled access to data, is essential. All access to Arvados API endpoints requires the client to 
represent an access token that identifies the user and use of the system as logged to support audits. Data Commons Technical Requirement 4 is interoperating with third-party authentication authorization services from trusted platforms, which Vado supports through its support of various identity systems, including LDAP, OpenID Connect, and Google Accounts. All data uploaded to Arvados is private by default. Users choose what to share, who to share it with, and at what level of access it is shared. You can also configure Arvados so that users have the ability to run analysis on data sets, but not download the data directly. Data Commons Technical Requirement 6 is interoperability with other trusted resources with similar security and compliance. Arvados clusters are able to communicate with other clusters in a federation. Federation enables interoperability between different regions or even organizations. Federation facilitates the data commons by making it possible for data to be shared widely among users in an organization or between organizations while still having controlled audited access. Thank you for your time. If you're interested in learning more, please watch our Arvados Boss Talk, which includes a demo, and visit arvados.org.